Hi everybody, my name is Jalen Barron and I just want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching my first official tutorial using my Bougie lashes. Um, so today we're going to be using the style Bay. It's our best seller and when I tell you we are selling out of it fast, we are selling out of it fast. So, um, the look is going to be brunch daytime, you know? Let's go. Let's go crazy. So first, obviously, I have clean hands and my brushes are all clean. And I'm going to prime my face with my Yves Saint Laurent primer. So my face is nice and primed. And we're going to start with eyebrows. I'm going to brush them. And I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen in the color granite. It's my brow whiz. I'm going to use it. It's broken. It's been through some things, but it's okay. It's okay. And then what I do is um, to blend the product, I get my spoolie and I brush it. I don't use a brush to blend it. I don't know why, but I find that this makes it look the most natural. I don't like really thick brows that look like they're painted on. It doesn't look good on me. You know, I tried it before because I like the way it looks on other girls, but when I do it on my face, I don't look good with it. Okay, so the same thing to the other brow. All right, so now what I do is I get my angled brush. Um, it is Morphe S, no, is that an S? Yeah, S6, and I'm going to clean them up. I always use a little bit of a lighter shade than my skin tone, so that way it can look more sharp. Now I just blend it out. And I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender. Okay, so now for my favorite part, color correcting. I have really dark circles under my eyes, I feel like. So a good way to kind of hide it more along with my concealer and my foundation is using like a more peachy color. So I get the peach color. Okay, so now I put the peach under my eyes to cancel out the darkness and I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender. All right, so now foundation. I'm today because like I said, this is like a brunch daytime look um, and there's not going to be a lot of flashback because it's the daytime. I'm gonna be using my Hourglass Stick Foundation in the shade Golden Tan. Now, it's, it's, it's getting cold outside, so I haven't been outside as much, and I always need to lighten my foundation around this time of year. I hate it. Like, this might even be a little too dark for me, but I'ma still rock it. I'ma still do it. So, putting on my foundation. Mm -hmm. And I love this stick because it's really creamy and it's easy to blend. The only thing that I could say is that you really need to powder it because it can get a little oily because it's such a like soft foundation, so creamy. Okay, so now that I look ridiculous, I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender. Now I'm gonna get more of my foundation. I'm gonna put it on my eyes. Oops, okay. Like this. Um, I'm not a makeup artist, so if any of this to you seems wrong, sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, this is how I do my makeup. You can do it a different way if you want. Okay, so. You should be looking really ridiculous right now in this step, but it's fine. We just working through it. That's all. That's all there is to it. Okay. So. Oh, 
Now, uh, not only do I blend with my Beauty Blender, but I go back in with my foundation to really pack it on, and I just blend with my Real Techniques little brush. I don't even know what number this is, but I have like three of them. But you like, I want you guys to comment below and I want you guys to really like give me ideas on what you guys want to see more of, what y'all want to see less of, like, I don't know. I kind of want to do a mukbang with kicking crab. Oof, some crab legs right now. That sounds so good. Okay, so now that I've just blended that all out, I'm gonna contour. So, basically, um, I have my MAC, a little, I don't know, I don't know what this is, what is this? Oh, it's my Pro Concealer Kit, and I use this little chocolatey shade right here, just to give myself some more cheekbone look. You know, for the longest time, I did not know how to frame my face. Like, my contour was a mess. And I'd use gray colors, and then I figured out, I'm like, oh, I can't use gray. That does not go with my skin. I look like a ghost. And I noticed that a lot of makeup artists sometimes, they really love using gray powder or gray, like, contour colors. I don't know. I have to use brown. I have to use like more warm colors for me. So now, of course, like I said, I'm gonna go in again with my Real Technique brush and buff it out. So now that I'm blended, I can go in with my concealer and I like to layer my concealers and I don't like my under eyes to be too bright. So I'm gonna use again my, um, my MAC Pro Concealer Corrector Palette. And I'm going to use, I don't even know what this color is called, but this one is perfect for concealing for my skin tone. It's not too light and it's not too dark. It's just a little bit lighter than my foundation. <sighs> and I know a few makeup artists are going to get mad at me, but I'm going to get my finger. And I just tap it underneath and then I blend it with my beauty blender. So y'all see this? You'll see what's happening right now. This is only the first layer of concealer that I use. Because this is the daytime, we're gonna go for a more natural look. Y'all know I never really go crazy with my makeup anyway. But that's why I want, I, that's why I want suggestions. I want to try things and like, see what works. So now to brighten it up, I'm gonna be using my Fenty um, concealer in shade 230. This really brightens it up. This really brings it. And of course, shout out Rihanna. <sighs> Y'all see the difference? Like how it really brightened it up, but it's not too harsh because I put the darker concealer color underneath. So now I'm gonna take that same concealer and I'm going to put it on my chin and in the middle of my forehead just to brighten up my T-zone. And I know you guys are like, where is, the, where is the nose contour? That's coming. I do that with the powder. Okay. So now that this is all buffed out, and remember, this is not a super dramatic look. This is daytime brunch. We're subtle, we're subtle, and we're cute. Okay. Okay. So, of course, I'm going to be using Fenty Setting Powder. What else would I be using? And this is the shade Banana. So, what I'm going to do is just dab a little on my Beauty Blender and pack it under my eye. I'm gonna do the same thing on everywhere I put my concealer. I'm gonna put on the powder. And then I let it sit for a little bit. 
So now what I'm gonna do is um, take my Mac Pro and A56 setting powder and instead of using my banana powder, what I do is I just run this underneath my, um, like around my mouth area to set it and then I put it underneath my contour. Sorry, I'm losing, I was losing my train of thought because somebody had just walked in. So now it's time to take off this powder. Um, I'm just gonna take it off with my, I don't know, it says bronzer on here, and I don't even know what brand this is. I think I took it from set, but whatever. So I'm just gonna buff this all out and... Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm buffing all of this out and taking away the powder. Remember, like, when I do daytime, like, makeup, I don't spend as much time on it as I would do during, like, for nighttime events. Because it's the daytime, like, I'm trying to show skin, look natural, look glowy, like, that's always my goal. And I'm gonna be using Stella. Um, it's the shade, what is this, light, I guess, 317A? I don't know. I've had this for a long time. It looks like this. I always find that whenever your makeup looks like this, it, it works the best. So now we're contouring and my brushes are always clean. So let's start there. This is from Collab. I got this literally at um, Sally's Beauty Supply for like $2. Everywhere I contoured with the cream, I'm going to go over it with the powder and blend it out. And make sure you really blend contour out, like, because I hate a great makeup look and the foundation looks amazing, but when, like, somebody turns to the side, you can really see just, like, a blotch of contour, and, like, I can't stand it, because I'm like, no, it kills the whole look. So, just really make sure you focus on blending. And I think that's what takes the longest when girls, when we, like, anybody, when we do our makeup, is that we don't want to spend time blending, but really, Blending can take you like from here to like there, you know, so like I said, I like a little I like a little sharpness so Instead of using the banana powder, which I would use usually at nighttime So that way it's a more dramatic look I'm using my foundation because it's a daytime and I want I want it to be really natural So I just put that onto my beauty blender and then I swipe it like that So now I'm gonna contour my nose. And I feel like this really be completing my look. I cannot not contour my nose. Let me tell you guys a little bit about Nay. Okay, I named Nay after my sister because my sister is extremely extra, like extra. She's dramatic, like with her outfits. She's a diva for sure. So this is probably my most dramatic lash. And um, it's one of my favorites because it has a little invisible band. So you can wear it with no makeup and it'll blend with your skin because the band is clear and it just pops on. And you can wear it with makeup. So that's why I love it. Nay. Okay. So I'm gonna do is just pull it out like that. Make sure you guys keep your boxes. Now, the easiest way and the best way to apply these lashes is with a lash applicator. You can get these at Ulta, um, the beauty supply store, and I think you can even get them at Dollar Tree, or you can just use some tweezers if you want. So now I'm gonna use my favorite glue that works for me. It's Duo, and it's clear. Do not use black lash glue with these lashes, because it does not work. It, unless you are really good at applying, don't do it. Don't, I don't even think that there's a reason to use black lash glue. So use the clear one, and it's soft and gentle. And I know some of y'all be using um, weave glue for your eyelashes. That could work too. It depends on what works for you. Okay. They're already cut to my size. And what I do first is take a look at them before I, before I apply my glue. 
I just set them on top of my eye to see what they look like. Okay. I'm liking it, they're already cut to my size. And this really takes up your brunch look, to be honest. A good lash really bumps up the look. So now I'm gonna apply my glue directly to my band. And remember, after you're done using the lashes, don't throw them away because they're reusable. You could reuse them up to 20 times. And I'm gonna be uploading another video next week of how to clean your bougie lashes. So see, I'm applying the glue. And honestly, I might just make a whole separate video on how to apply lashes. Okay. So now what you do is wait mm, 15 to 20 seconds. You want the lash glue to be tacky. So basically like um, it's sticky, but you don't want it to be too dry because it won't stick to your eye and you don't want it to be too wet because it won't stick to your eye either. So now I'm gonna apply it. Get the corner. And I stick it down. And they're really comfortable and really easy because my band is not too thick. I hate a thick band. And you see I squeeze it so that way it blends with my lashes. The difference. Bad and bougie, a natural queen, but still bad and bougie. So there's a difference. It can really take up your look. That's why I love lashes. Like I love lashes because you go from, oh yeah, I'm cool. Like, you know, I'm so cute, but. And also because my band is so natural and it's a clear band, it's almost like it's lash extensions, but it's not and it doesn't cost as much money and it's not as much maintenance and you can take them off at night and wash your face thoroughly. <laughs> and that's what I always found with lash extensions is that I could not wash my face the right way. I never felt fully clean because I couldn't get in my eye. But with Bougie Lashes Girl, you could wear this with no makeup, wear every day, all day, be comfortable. It doesn't even feel like you have anything on your eye and still slay. So I'm applying the same amount of glue to my other lash and waiting 15 to 20 seconds for it to get tacky. And I, for real, I really have like a favorite eye and this is my favorite eye because my lashes always apply super easy on it. I don't know if I have two different eye sizes or two different eye shapes, but yeah, this eye is the one that gives me the problems. And you want to get as close to your lash line as possible so you don't see a little gap in between. And with my applicator, I squeeze my lash line to the eyelash. That way it blends better and you don't see any gaps. That's why I really recommend getting a lash applicator. Who knows, Bougie might come out with one. That's all I'm gonna say on that. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the finishing touches to my look, just to wrap it all up. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeshadow underneath my eye. And I'm using Fenty, of course, my Fenty Beauty palette. This shade right here, and I'm just going to brush it underneath. So now what I'm going to do is apply my Fenty Beauty in Hustler Baby. I'm going to apply that to the corner of my eye. Okay, so I'm going to, in Urban Decay, I'm going to take the color Whiskey and line my lips. And then I'm gonna take one of my favorite cream lipsticks. Um, it's Kim Kardashian's brand, and this is the color. I can't even read it. 
Kimberly. It's my favorite and it's nude and it's creamy, it's bomb. And I just make sure I really blend that in with my brown lipstick, I mean my brown lip liner. And then I am just to add some more, I'm gonna add a little bit more contour to my cheekbones. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my brow gel. Um, it's Benefit Ready Set Brow. Put them on the eyebrows, brush them upward. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna add a little bit of blush now that I think about it. I want a little blush. Just with a cute little brush brush, blush brush. And honestly, what my little secret is, is when I want to look like a little angel, is I add a little, just a little bit of blush to my, um, my nose, the tip of my nose where I put my highlighter. So I'm gonna take my Real Techniques brush again and buff everything out. One final hurrah, just to make sure everything's blended. We don't want to not be blended. We love a blended queen. And that's that. So we are bougie using Nay Bougie Lashes, and um, this is the very first tutorial, so yeah.